What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we finally have some brand new information for Spider-Man PS5 Miles Morales and it's some very very interesting info. Now if you have not seen already we got a brand new screenshot as well which is in the background of this video and yes people are already talking about the ray tracing puddle. It is that time again that's a big flashback to of course when Spider-Man PS4 was out in E3 as well so that that's a puddle route that we're not going to go down. But hey guys, let's try and smash 900,000 likes in under 24 hours. That would be cool. And if you could do me a favor and hit that big red subscribe button below if you haven't already, that would be cool because we are in the time of big, big superhero games. We got this Spider-Man game clearly going head to head with, of course, Marvel's Avengers. But then on top of that, we got DC Fandom next week as well, which is safe to say that the new Batman game will be announced. I mean there's like a 99% chance that WB Games are going to come out and say hey this is our Batman game. So as far as competition goes in the superhero gaming world if you want to say that it's probably never been more competitive as it is right now and again we don't, we don't even have the new consoles yet so it's going to be really really exciting to see how these games go ahead with each other but diving into this video we did get a new interview with the devs who revealed more details and I want to start off with what the lead writer for Spider-Man actually said and his name's John and after this we got an interesting comparison which is why I want to start off with what he said. So John went ahead and said that when they were designing this game in a nutshell they wanted to design an experience that felt like you were playing a Marvel movie. Now it's safe to say from what we've seen alone in the Spider-Man Miles Morales trailer and it's safe to say now even new screenshots as well that graphics in this game are going to be a very very big thing right and that's just normal because hey it's a brand new console now that being said this was captured of course on the PlayStation 5 but there's an interesting comparison with Spider-Man PS4 that you'll be able to just see literally going back and forth right now in this video now with all I guess due respect as well with the second photo that is in Spider-Man PS4 that's obviously just taken in the photo mode so if you want to like I guess do the comparison to the Spider-Man Mars Morales one that's an actual promo picture so I guess you know with, with credits due credits due right like this was literally a promo picture it's a blurred background etc etc but just taking a look at the basic things such as the lighting and most importantly I guess ray tracing is a big thing there is a huge huge difference right and the crazy thing is we know photo mode in Spider-Man PS4 was great it was a ton of fun absolutely no one had any complaints with it and I guess the sky was the limit and some sort of perspective in terms of what you were able to create within that mode but that being said like I said the Spider-Man PS4 picture even though it is just in gameplay photo mode basics I guess pictures it was actually at night as far as it well as close as it can get of course to the one that we did see for Spider-Man PS5 so it's actually raining as well and then in, in comparison I mean the, the Mars Morales one just looks really really good now this leads me on to the next thing about this ray tracing and again I, I'm a big fan, I guess you could say, when it comes down to attention to detail. And again, even in comparison with Spider-Man PS4, that was a big thing that people consistently kept pointing out, especially in photo mode. But James Stevenson actually quoted part of this trailer, as you'll see it as a GIF in the background. But he actually stated that he thinks a lot of people miss the second reflection on the left from the June trailer. Now, of course, we just see the ray tracing on the right. But if you actually take a look in the window the reflection you can actually see those that electricity right if you will through the mirror through the window sorry so as far as that reflection goes it really really does look good and again you can also see the electric ever so slightly if you look super close on the right now again as far as graphics goes I've always said you know I personally prefer gameplay over graphics any day but attention to detail with things like this really 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 get you excited and again going on the basis that they've literally just said themselves that they want to make you feel an experience as if you were playing a Marvel movie so 
I mean, it's safe to say I feel like we have achieved that. Seeing this as well has got me thinking that we more than likely will get another trailer, hopefully within the next week or two, because I feel like we just got to get that. It's very rare for them just to drop a screenshot and then go completely radio silent, so it's exciting to see what we're going to drop in the upcoming weeks. Now, also, Brian Horton, you guys might remember him from Spider-Man PS4. He's a creative director, and he did actually confirm that this is a full arc for Miles Morales that started in Spider-Man and that he is really, well, the whole team are just completing this hero's coming of age in their game and that it is a complete story. When we started crafting it, we realized that with a little bit more of a compact storytelling style, we could tell a very emotionally impactful story that will fit really well as an experience that would take Spider-Man and Miles Morales and do justice to the character. Now, again, even in comparison, you know, back when they were doing Spider-Man PS4, back then they weren't even sure that, you know, doing a sequel would be possible, but of course, that game just had such a massive success, so it's safe to say that if they can pull it off again, I, I would probably imagine we'd get more, tr I, I guess, sequels to Spider-Man possibly, or they'll just be trusted and given the rights to a lot more exclusive Marvel games, actually hopefully not exclusive Marvel games, but now, of course, that they have been inquired uh, by Sony and some yet games, so, you know, it's pretty much game over, then I guess all their games are always going to be exclusive now, but nonetheless, they, if they can prove themselves again, I think we are in for more treats as far as sequel goes to the game. But guys, what do you think of that? Now, we also did get more confirmation as well. It's already been said like hundreds of times, but just to reconfirm, this game is not linked at all to, of course, Marvel's Avengers. They are two completely different worlds. However, they did mention the Avengers game in their interview, but essentially just stating how these games are, you know, the start of bigger Marvel games for the upcoming generation of consoles as well and so forth so again just don't ever think these games are connected because they're definitely not connected but that being said like I said in uh, in the video yesterday as well that does not mean that each of these games would not have easter eggs that do reference other games as well so for example we're more than likely going to have Avengers games easter eggs in Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales and then vice versa in the Marvel's Avengers game we already know we're getting Spider-Man as an exclusive character over there but also there's more than likely going to be some type of easter egg that links to spider-man miles morales that's what i would just assume anyway but like i said you guys get any comments below let me know what you think about the graphics comparisons are you too fussed can you see the difference and uh, i guess do you feel like graphics are important to you now like i said as far as you know the first shot being a promo shot as opposed to the other one being an in-game normal photo mode screenshot you can see the fairly obvious changes so it's going to be interesting to see i just really hope they do have a feature in the next Spider-Man game where we can possibly do like video trailers as well. I think that would be something sweet to add. But again, you guys let me know your thoughts on that. That's going to wrap up this video here. As always, subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos.